And good evening, everybody. I'm Sue Herrera, in tonight for Susie Garab. Welcome, everybody. I'm Tyler Matheson. It was a quiet August day on Wall Street. For today, at least, last week's seismic jitters about the Middle East, Central Europe, U.S. Central Bank policy took a backseat to news from, among other places, Portugal. That country's government threw a lifeline to one of its biggest lenders, and that was enough to spark a rebound from last week's steep losses, the worst in more than two years for the S&P 500. An unwinding of short positions, basically bets the market will fall, also helped a little bit today. And at the end of the day, the Dow was higher by nearly 76 points, the Nasdaq was up 31, and the S&P added 13. With stocks seeing a healthy bounce back, at least for today, a lot of people are asking what's driving the markets right now and what's the mood of traders. Bob Bazzani has a look. Stocks rallied, ending just off the highs for the day. It was the best day in two weeks for the S&P 500. The rally began in Europe, where the Portuguese government bailed out its largest bank, though bond and stockholders also took a big hit. Now, stocks started weak in the U.S., but the absence of bad news from Europe and Ukraine helped lift the appetite for cyclical names like tech, retail, and commodity stocks, all of which took a drubbing last week. And energy stocks also rose as oil moved up for the first time in four days. For the rest of the week, traders are going to keep a sharp eye on Europe. So is the worst over? It may be too early to tell. There will be lingering concern about the economic condition in Europe. German market took a bit of a hit again today, We're worrying about them struggling under the sanctions. And we're going to wait to see if this honeymoon with the spirit to sank through the Portuguese bank uh, last. It, it, they had a bounce back there, but it wasn't anywhere near the kind of sell-off they had in previous days. Stocks also got a lift from the realization that earnings have been better than expected. With three-fourths of the S&P 500 reporting, earnings are approaching a 10% gain from the same period a year ago. That's the best showing in about three years, and revenues are up about 5%. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.